In this tutorial, we will cover the first three tools located in the Drive Suite. And these operations are Revolve, S-Helix, and Wire Helix. And we will start with the Revolve tool. Before we get started, though, we should explain that two components are necessary when generating objects of revolution, a source or a profile shape, and an axis of revolution. Now, this axis of revolution can be any segment we draw or the axis of any reference plane. Here in this example, we use some of the drawing tools to create a 2D shape on the ZX plane. This open shape will be the source, and we will use the Z axis as the axis of revolution. Note that we're able to switch from the default XY plane to the ZX plane in this example with the Reference Plane Tools palette visible in the bottom left corner of the modeling window. Now we should also mention that in edit mode we're able to manipulate our shape if it's not quite what we desired. Now with the Revolve tool selected we click on the source shape and then on the axis of revolution. Our profiles revolved around the Z axis and we've created a pawn for a chessboard. Let's take this opportunity to observe some of the options and numerical fields available in the Tool Options palette for the Revolve operation. Because we're still in edit mode, we can further manipulate the game piece using these options. What if we don't want to revolve the profile shape completely around the axis of revolution? We can set the rotation angle dynamically through the on-screen controls as we show here, or by typing our desired rotation degree into the corresponding numeric field available in the Tool Options palette. We can also revolve parts of existing objects. With the Vectorline tool and 3D Enclosure Object Type selected, we create a bench-like object. Now we switch back to the default XY plane and extrude a cube. In this example, let's rotate the side face of the bench around any one of the cube segments that is perpendicular to the reference plane. Select the Revolve tool move the cursor over the side face of the bench and while pressing command click to pick it. Next select a segment of the cube and observe the result. We have revolved a face of an existing object around the segment of another. Second in the drive suite of tools is the helix tool. It creates helical objects around an axis and similar to the revolved operation we just discussed it too requires two components we need a source and an axis of revolution. For the source, we generate a U-shaped 2D wall on the ZX plane. We will use the Z-axis once again as the axis of revolution. With the helix tool, click on the source shape and then the Z-axis. While the shape is revolved around the axis of revolution, notice that unlike the revolve tool in the previous example, the helix tool continuously revolves the shape upward thereby creating a helical type object. While in edit mode we can further edit the helix with the on-screen controls as well as the options available in the tool options palette. These options include setting the length of the helix graphically with the length arrow or numerically in the length field. We can also set the angle of rotation with the angle field in the tool options palette. Here we enter 360 Press enter and observe that our helical slide makes one complete rotation around the z-axis. We can also do the same with the number of cycles field. Here we enter 3 and the helix is revolved about the axis 3 times. The wire helix is the third operation in the derived suite of tools. This tool works differently than the helix tool shown previously in that it only requires the selection of a line about which the helix is generated. This line may be a single segment or coordinate axis, X, Y, or Z, or even a spline. Which type will be used is selected from the Tool Options palette for the Wire Helix tool. In this example, we shall do both types. Now without changing any of the default settings, click on the Z axis and observe the result. Then grab and move the two control arrows, one at a time, and watch the helix transforming. Next, select the Wire Helix Along Path option. Before proceeding, though, we'll need a path, and so we create one with the Spline tool. With the Wire Helix tool active in its Tool Options palette, set the number of cycles to 12, then click on the Spline in the Project window and observe the result. 
While in edit mode, we can further edit the wire helix through the on-screen controls and tool options palette, similarly to the helix tool previously. Here we graphically change the radius of the helix with the radius control arrow. And here we enter 10 in the number of cycles field and observe what happens. And here we enter 7200 in the angle field. Note that this corresponds to 20 cycles and observe the result. Next, reverse the direction of the wire helix in the direction pull down menu. Now more options exist in the palette and you are encouraged to try them on your own. And this concludes our Revolve and Helix's tutorial.